Libra land what's up friends and fam so this is going to be your next seven days even though this is not going to include well if we do it Monday to Monday it will include April 8th because Sunday's already over so I might as well say um Monday to Monday so we will include April 8th, which is the day of the total solar eclipse. And there's so much going on. It is concerning. So I've been watching this show that appeared on my Netflix feed called Three Body Problem. And a little did I know it was about a particle CERN. What's it called? Particle What is it called? No, it's gonna bother me. So okay, let me just get it out. NASA plans to launch three sounding rockets into the solar eclipse. Okay. From its Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. These rockets will lift off 45 minutes before, during, and 45 minutes after the peak local eclipse. The next total solar eclipse in the U.S. won't happen like this until 2044. So they're saying this is a prime opportunity to study the ionosphere, the ionosphere, which is located 90 to 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface and how it affects our uh, radio signals and satellite communications. Okay, so there's that. Now, is CERN being activated on April 8th, 2024? The particle accelerator, yes. The first collisions of proton beams are expected on April 8th. Now I get why they want to send off the three rockets because they're trying to, you know, supposedly do some type of science experiment. Fine. But why choose the solar eclipse, the day of the solar eclipse, to turn back on CERN. There's just a lot going on. So anyways, this reading, we're going to dive deeper into it the closer we get to the date, okay? Um, whoops, sorry about that. But this is the next seven days, so we're going to include the seventh day as April 8th as we are a little over a week away from this solar eclipse. So let's go ahead and get into this reading, Libra. I saw a little crocodile toy randomly today, and then I heard tick tock, tick tock, and it reminded me of Peter Pan and Neverland. What does that even mean, Neverland? Look how my candle is flickering. What does that even mean? Neverland. Like, never, it could never be 444 on the clock. I don't know. It's just interesting if you think deeper into these things. And then I heard move out the way. And I got angel number 8484. So let's see what that means. 
What is the numerology meaning of 8484? According to Pinterest, the meaning of angel number 8484 in love, angel number 8484 reminds you that you should be more devoted to your partner. Oh, okay. Message to those in a relationship. <laughs> this number also encourages you to be brave, follow your passions, and stay true to yourself. It's time to ask yourself what you really want. It's also linked to Angel Haniel. Wow, I have his incense right here. Okay, anyways, all right, there we go. So Archangel Haniel is in the house. Tick tock, tick tock. Hmm. Let's get the crocodile symbolism. Crocodile symbolism, spiritual. According to Kenya Wildlife Safaris, they are seen as guides or protectors that can help people navigate spiritual realms or overcome obstacles. Crocodile spiritual meaning also denotes inner strength and power. Therefore, they represent the ability to overcome challenges and tap into one's own strength and resilience. They are seen as guides or protectors that can help people navigate spiritual realms or overcome obstacles. How interesting. Navigate spiritual realms. Ooh. Okay. Let's start with the tarot. First, I feel like there is this heavy watch list energy. We have the men in black at the bottom of the mystic Martian Oracle after the pre-shuffle number 13 there. And with this hermit, It is a little concerning because he's in the dark around books with a candle. So it's almost like going back in time before there was electricity. Which I do feel like this deck is based almost in the medieval times. You see these two spheres? Almost looks like a crystal ball and then a globe. See that globe and that globe? I heard the world above, the world below. Ace of Wands, it's power. What's the situation for Libra the next seven days? Thank you, Spirit. The Wheel of Fortune. Cycles. My apologies, you guys. That high-pitched sound that you can't, you could be picking up right now is some type of cricket outside the window. And it just started before I turned on the camera. I'm like... I'm trying to get some fresh air, so I don't want to close the window. I hope it's not bothering you guys. Okay, what's the situation, spirit? There's that Ace of Wands again with the Emperor. Jeez, that's a lot of power. This is considered the most powerful Ace in the tarot deck. They also consider it with the beginning of creation. They also consider it like the Great Bang, the beginning. 
<laughs> the Great Bang. <laughs> oh, that's me being silly minded, but um, Libra, ten ten on the clock. Is this the Emperor's power? Or is this your power? I think this Emperor can see your power. I do, I do. Combining forces could be an option. If this Emperor is living in their higher consciousness. If they're vibrating and radiating out of their higher chakras rather than their lower ones. But I don't know, with this Ace of Wands, it's a very phallic card. So that emperor could just simply be very attracted to you, Libra. But I do think it has something to do with your power that you possess, Libra. Mm-hmm. The Eight of Wands came out. of where you should not focus. Actually, hold on a second. I haven't done this spread. This was like my norm. I don't even need to pause. Just let me find it really quick. Did this card come out of where you need to focus or where you don't need to focus? Hold on. Like my little emerald tablet. <laughs> is this it? Okay, yeah, the second card that comes out is do not do this. The third card is do this. And the fourth card is your outcome. What it leads to. Alright, so don't do this. The eight of wands with the six of swords. Don't act upon the first offer you receive. Wait something out here. Okay, because the Eight of Wands is a lot of communication. It could be of opportunities, um, offers coming towards you. And the Six of Swords is you moving or you taking a trip. So maybe you need to hold off on this. Hold off on this first offer, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing wait. And what was your channel message that I wrote down? Move out the way. Move out the way, Libra. That can go like a couple ways I'm envisioning in my mind for us this next seven days. Move out the way could be literally like the hermit card. Stay out the way. Oh, I have chills on my legs. You need to stay out the way. Stay low key. Um, prepare for, I just saw 1414 on the live or on the clock. Um... Stay low key the next seven days, stay out the way, but move out the way. If you see something coming or someone coming towards you, or even I'm envisioning like a car and you're, you know, in your car and maybe you're stopped at a light or something. And there's this just car heading towards you, which is crazy because just a few hours ago, I was reminiscing on a car accident I witnessed 
a few years back. It was like, I don't know, three years ago, maybe 2020, maybe four years ago. Anyways, some of you may have to move out of the way. It's like, if you see something coming towards you and it's like, oh shoot, do I, do I need to move out of the way or do I need to stay put? You need to move out of the way. Okay. Okay. Now, the car accident I witnessed was so freaky. I almost thought, and I still think to this day, it was sort of meant for me. So weird. So, I'm coming down a two-lane road. And there's a two-lane road, you know, on the other side of the street, okay? And then there's... On my lane, there's this interstate entrance ramp. So the people coming from the other direction. So I'm going this way. People are coming this way. I'm stopped at the red light. There's somebody a little distance behind me, and it turns green. So they don't fully stop, and they keep moving. Well, this a-hole in the turning lane that wanted to go onto the interstate in front of us when it turned green, it, it didn't give them a green arrow. They needed to yield to oncoming traffic, but he didn't. He went ahead and made that turn. And as they were coming, they collided. Boom. And here I am. I was just starting to move along. You see me over here? I was just starting to move along. And I'm right here, two feet away from them colliding. Nothing touched my car. It was like a bubble of protection over my car. I felt so bad for the girl that was behind me just driving along. I pulled over, I got out of my car. I wanted to make sure she was okay. Um, the person that was in the wrong that made the turn, a legal turn in front of us, oncoming traffic, looked like some type of crazy alien. This is so weird as we get this men in black card at the bottom of the deck. I was not gonna tell this story. The guy in the truck that cut us off looked like some type of dumb, big dumb alien from a men in black movie. I was frightened. He didn't even know how to properly articulate. Like, how do you, how are you even driving? How did you get a license? And so then when the cops show up, I write this statement of what I saw. And he, I hear one of the cops saying to the other one, it looks like another one of those. And I'm like, 18, 18 on the clock. I overheard them say that to each other. I'm like, what does that even mean? I mean, yeah, they could have been talking about like he looks like he's on drugs because he's like incoherent. But to me, he just looked like an alien, like not from this world. It was so bizarre, you guys. So anyways, there's story time for that. Let's keep going. What, um, what should Libra do the next seven days? Wow, justice. Oh my gosh, more chills. Y'all saw how quick that flipped out. Upright, justice. What you should focus on the next seven days. Being in your energy, your own energy, Libra. So powerful. Let's read this card out of this deck. Look at that white owl. I've been seeing that white owl again lately a lot that snowy owl with the page of pentacles at the bottom which can be starting something you could be weighing your options Figuring out how to kick off, how to start up this new project, 
this new inventive creation of yours, Libra. Let me drink some water. All right. I was going to say, where's the book? It's in here. No, it's not. Okay, there it is. Lost my pen. All right, Libra. Justice. The Professor of Ethics in this deck. The Professor in this card is playing with a golden set of scales on her desk. Scales are a long-standing symbol of truth and justice. In this case, the imagery dates back to ancient Egypt where the goddess Ma'at would measure a dead man's heart against the weight of a feather before he could be allowed to journey on into the afterlife. Scales are the emblem of Libra, the sign of balance, the glyph for Libra, which looks like a balanced set of scales, is painted on the wall behind the professor. The quill pen on the professor's desk symbolizes the sword of justice. A double-edged reminder that fairness cuts both ways. Justice's classroom looks like a lawyer's office or a law library with leather-bound volumes of law and ethics shelved on bookcases. The glass doors on the shelves symbolize the transparency and protection of the law. The rolled parchment scrolls on the desk, like their counterparts on the bookshelves, represent the wisdom and judgments of the ages. I'm trying to decide whether I want to say what I was thinking. You know, I got channeled sleeper cell months ago. And for those of you that know, you know what that is. There's right and there's wrong. People would like to convince you otherwise. But there's right and there's wrong. There's truth and there's fiction. There's light and there's dark. There's truth and there's lies. Did I already say that? I don't know. Truth, fiction. <sighs> there's good and there's evil. And don't let that evil confuse you. Because that is the art of the devil. Is confusion. That's the art he specializes in. Along with music. Music and art. No wonder the devil favors Libra. 
but seriously, this is, this is so crazy. Um, there was a random message that's never happened before on one of these apps on my phone. It's like a neighborhood type of app, right? You can only get access to it if you live in the neighborhood. Up pops a message and it says, Satanic message of the day on Easter. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just don't... It was so confusing. I mean, I understood parables. What does that mean? Why did I just hear parables in my mind? What does that mean? Define parables. Here's the definition of parable. A simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson as told by Jesus in the Gospels. Yeah. A moral tale. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Thank you, Spirit, for putting those. <laughs> I love being a, a little dictionary for Spirit and finding out. I knew that's what that pretty much meant, but I couldn't put it into words as fast as Google could, okay? But a moral tale, and that's what the person with the satanic message of the day was trying to do. They were trying to speak of the difference between peace and um, fighting. To me, it was just an attention seeking type of thing like oh let me see if I can get anybody to reply to me since I'm doing this on Easter and the message got one heart out of I'm sure the thousands hundreds or thousands of people that saw that message it's like give me a break but I'm coming to learn that there's a lot more darkness in my neighborhood than I realized which is unfortunate because in times like this, we need to be able to have that rapport with our neighbors. We need to have decent friendships. I mean, not friendships, just de de decent associations, okay? There's a battle here, and I know it's been going on for the entirety of existence, okay? But I, today, you know, last night in the live stream, I was like, oh, I'm already in the future. You know, I'm already future focused. I'm already in May. I'm already in June. But Libra, I know we're going to get past it, this solar eclipse. We're going to move past it. Whether the power goes out or we lose service. I believe in good people. But I need the good and the strong to outweigh the bad and the strong, okay? Because I think there's, there's four sets of people. There's four different kinds of people. There's good, willed, and strong willed. Those that are not afraid, they're very brave. Then we have the good hearted people, but that they're more meek and mild and they can't help that. 
That's just who they are. But they are more afraid to stand up, to speak out. Then we move on to those people with bad intentions, cruel hearts, but also are afraid to stand up or speak out in the worst ways, okay? But they have that within them, that dark energy within them still. And then there's those that are evil and have power. It does look, from my standing point, probably equal on all four, all four of those different types of people. Right now, it's like equal. But we know that the light overpowers the darkness in the end and the good prevails over the evil that we do know. You were born for this. You were born for this time. Do not be afraid. Prepared. For the unknown, just in case, to the best of your abilities. Do what you can. And hopefully this will all pass rather quickly. But to me, it 2024. Oh, yay. Oh, my gosh. I have good chills. Oh, my gosh. To me, 2024 is going to be like this. like a like a wave like a roller coaster just don't get you know speaking of waves don't get sucked under watch out for those the undertow that tries to pull you under This is amazing, Libra. You got the Ten of Cups. That's so, oh my gosh. That's so positive with the Six of Cups. Oh, that's 16 Cups. I just heard Sweet 16. Happy birthday to um, anyone, any parents out there and their children or child is getting ready to celebrate or have recently celebrated their sweet 16. I don't know why I just heard that. But um, Ten of Cups is all about, can be about a blending of family, unity. For many of you, this is a family okay that you've created libra in this life or that you are creating or you're about to create this is they're your soul family the six of cups this is my past life card you've lived many lives with these same souls The Ten of Cups is a positive ending, and it looks like the sun is rising. So even if there is some darkness to come, the dawn, a new beginning, will rise again. That's so promising with the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups.
life. I mean, I wasn't trying to get that deep in this weekly reading because, like I said, with this isn't really the solar eclipse um, official reading that I'm planning on doing. But you see how they're they're playing with the ball in the courtyard. It's giving back to basics. Whoever the feminine is in this partnership is a little bit more spiritually mature than the masculine <laughs> with this two of cups. Like the masculine could be older than you or younger, but that's just a message. The, fe the feminine here is definitely um, the more spiritually mature one. Two of Swords. You know how to use your intuition to make decisions. And they're correct. You know how to use your intuition to make decisions, Libra, and they are correct. And they you will be correct, okay? Don't doubt your capabilities. You're stronger than you think. Jeez. You saw those three shuffles and look what ended up back at the bottom. Wow, I did not know we were 37 minutes in. Wow. Alchemy, the Philosopher's Stone. Infinity, destiny, magic. Green eyes are significant. Green eyes. We have the Nephilim at the bottom. Controversial, assessing new perspectives. He's just uprooted something. Something could be uprooted this week. Infinity, destiny, and magic. Let's read. I also heard that they were um, planning on adding more fluoride to the tap water. shaking my head you got to be filtered out nowadays and I know not all filters are created equal <sighs> just to filter out all the crap polluting the water with ancient alchemy was shrouded in coded double speak You're going to receive some type of code this week, message. I 
Oh boy. This is about time, space, infinity, shifting perceptions, new beginnings, change, destiny, magic, ascended consciousness, cooking, chemistry, transformation, transmutation, and metamorphosis. I just saw a blue butterfly on somebody's clothes right before this, uh, right before I started this reading. Metamorphosis is reminding me of that. We see the blue butterfly often. I have a spiritual animal card with the blue butterfly on it. Another reader mentioned Jeez, I've seen it. I've heard it and seen it at least two or three times today, the blue butterfly. This other reading I was listening to earlier today mentioned the blue butterfly and she connected it. I thought she was going to say MK Ultra, which is what I connected it with, uh, unfortunately. But she connected it with the thyroid, which the blue does represent your throat chakra and your thyroid is located in your throat so i'm like we will not be silenced you will not be they can't turn your brain to mush okay they can't crystallize your pineal gland fast enough. Ascension is here. We are ascending. New earth is approaching. <laughs> My guides were like, yeah, they said that back in the 1960s. <laughs> Oh my gosh, stop it. No, but seriously, they're just being funny. They're telling me, no, it's, it is, it's now. Wow, I just heard them say it's now or never. People need to definitely decide, like, where their loyalties lie. That's what I heard with the after it's now or never. Like, people, you just need to be um, honest and integrity. Figure out where your loyalties lie. Stick with that. Wow, Libra, we just experienced the pink, the full moon in Libra. And that's what this full moon card represents behind these short grays. Timid, misunderstood, shy. Crooked fingers throwing up the gang gangs. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys do know that if something was to happen and there are sleeper cells here, we're going to have to come together. Bloods, crypts. Black, white, red, yellow, gray, blue. We're all going to have to come together. 
it's going to be light beans against dark beans. And that's all it's going to come down to when that time comes. And I'm not saying that time is going to be next Monday, April 8th. I'm just saying when that time comes. Let's read number nine. Book keep disappearing. The nineteen forty seven Roswell crash in New Mexico brought Short Gray's existence to the public's attention. Short Gray's mode of interstellar travel is usually disc-like crafts. Hmm. Oh. They have no sex organs and no known emotions. They are purely logical and are incredibly intelligent and telepathic. It is reported they too are a dying species and are desperate to save themselves from extinction. Some short grays have been associated with the abduction and contactee phenomena, which reportedly the short grays experimentally do with mythologies, with methodologies, which will hopefully help them access their soul matrix and thereby assist their genetic species. They are largely a subservient race that complies under the Alpha Draconian rule. Mm -mm -mm. The Alpha Draconian own, operate, and oversee Genetic engineering. Mm, and cloning programs. Woo. Yeah, we're not going to go into that in this reading. And we're getting incredibly long. I can't believe it's approaching an hour. Oh, I forgot to read their keywords. So again, it's like these poor little short grays. Are going extinct. It said no known emotion. But they have to have emotion. They don't want to go extinct. So there has to be some type of emotion behind those eyes. They care about their species. They care about each other. It's going to be good against evil. And there's multiple species. They originate from the Orion constellation. Yeah, somebody, they all say it's called Orion, but it's really called Orion. Anyway, timid, misunderstood, shy, marginalized, oppressed, fragile, vulnerable, scapegoat, innocence, children, Hypersensitive. Yeah, it's like putting kids to work in labor mills. You know what I mean? It's like, oh my gosh, sickening. The Alpha Draconians are obviously the dark.
yeah, we need to be strong and brave, especially for the children. Whether you have children or not, these kids need protected. Period. The Lyran's out next. Strength. Bravery. Courage. That's so crazy. I just talked about the four different types of human beings that I think there are. Ones that are benevolent, good-hearted, and strong and brave. And then, the you know, the ones that are good-hearted, benevolent, but meek or mild. I don't blame them. Definitely reminds me of like the shorts here, the short grays. I'm just saying this is all adding up, Libra. We need to be strong, courageous, and brave, especially for the younger generations. And it came out with Syrians A and Sirius also has to do with this solar eclipse. So for this to come out is even further confirmation. Sirius A, artistic, integrity, and honesty. That's Lyrans. The Lyrans have battled many cosmic wars in the past with the Orion, Alpha Draconian Reptilian Empires. The Lyrans or Lyrans live a harmonious lifestyle. They practice careful biodiversity of their ecosystem. Prior to the Egyptian pyramids ever being built, the ancient Egyptian Sphinx, Sphinx was built by the Lyrans and other visitors of the time during the Leo 2000 year constellation time phase of the procession of the equinoxes. <gasps> Oh, I just got chills. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, more chills. Wow. They've seen many, many equinoxes. That's for sure. And that's just confirmation. Lyrans do not suffer fools gladly and are an honest, open, bold, and proud race. They are known to be combative and fiery for matters they value dearly, while also being warm and affectionate. It is said that the Lyrans have one of the most extensive collections of ancient cosmic history in our galaxy. Today, they are mostly considered a retired, honorable race and hold great prestige in galactic councils. This is about your ancestors. <sighs> Libra, listen. We are the chosen ones of our ancestors to be here, to live this life, to do this life thing now. I just saw an orb with my physical eye. Anyways, um, yeah, ancestors are all around. This is about honor, respect, library. How many times has the library come up in this reading? That's weird. Affectionate, strength, courage, bravery, defiant, proud, and bold. That's the energy we got to embrace. Okay, Libra? Have no fear. Eighteen. The Syrian A beans come from the brilliant and brightest star in our skies, 
serious. The sixth dimensional Syrian beings are benevolent, loyal, spiritual warriors who bear service to others. They are disciplined, reserved, and have self-mastery of healthy detachment, connection to all, and integrity. <laughs> I know I said that earlier. They have strong ties with Mother Earth's oceanic realm. They're calm, non-political, watery, and non-confrontational. Yet, sounds like a Libra, will defend themselves easily if need be. Sounds like a Libra. They value honesty and transparency. Sounds like a Libra. <laughs> I'm done. They prefer symbols to words. They're lovers of music, sacred geometry, and singing. They also visited Earth during ancient seeding projects and later worked with Egyptian, Sumerian, Inca, Mayan, and other ancient civilizations. The Syrian A-beans were also involved in ancient cosmic wars with the Orion, Orion, Alpha Draconian Empire. The dolphin, whale, and mermaid heritage originates from Sirius A. You got warriors that came out together. Again, what am I talking about us standing together even though we're different? Even though they're totally different, they come from different constellations. But they have fought against a common denominator, a common enemy. Did you guys just hear that knock, pop, or whatever? I don't know what the heck that was. I guess they're here right now, which is fine with me. As long as they're benevolent, I'm good to go. They're all about music, integrity, honesty, truth, gracious, gracious serious, transparency, ocean creatures, crystals, singing, accomplishment, success, commitment, and loyalty. <clears throat> loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I cannot believe this has been an hour reading. Libra, I'm going to leave it here. It's been long. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for being a supporter of Libra Land. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart chakra. Stay balanced and stay blessed. Peace. More to come.